What we're really so <laughs> what I've done on this one is this is where I've cut through the pel through basically the pubic symphysis so you can oh, see into sorry. that pelvic canal. That scary. And so mm -hmm. what you can see <laughs> is that um, this is the here's the ovary here and the oviduct on this side coming down to the vagina. And this is the bladder, remember, that's, a, that's yeah, along the, you goodness. know, right, right behind the okay. pubic symphysis going up into the abdominal cavity. Remember, it forms by getting sucked from endoderm, that's sucked in from the, um, from the umbilical region, and that's the urethra going out. So um, you can see that here's a couple of differences on a pig compared to a human. Where's the, the fallopian tube? So here's the fallopian tube going to the, the uterus here and then the vagina, and you can see the urethra and the vagina join at what's a common exit or opening from the outside world called a cloaca, cool. and that's the more common can you situation. Do this side too? What's that? Can you do this side? That's there's there's the bladder, urethra uh -huh. coming down here. There's the ovary, fallopian tube, going to the, the the uterus and the vagina down here, and that's where they join. And that single cloacal opening, if you want to see here, okay. so, wow. there's the single cloacal opening is more the more common situation for mammals, okay? There are a lot, a lot of primates. There's other mammals that also have them separate, but more often than not, they're actually the one opening. And then if you lift all of this up... I heard of that name in birds. Yeah, birds also. If you move this to the side, then you can see here's the end of the, the intestines, the large intestines coming through to the rectum, and there's the at the back of the, you know, dorsal part of the pelvic canal, there's the... the um, the rectum going out to what the anal opening, separate anal opening. That's the oh. Okay. So yeah. it's an anal yeah. opening. What's the other one called? So it's, it's called a cloaca. cloaca. Yeah, but, but really I wouldn't expect you to know that. that. Really I might. What's that? Is that really the vagina? Yeah, it's really a vagina. Yeah. But you know, urethra. urethra and the vagina. I mean, that first part where they're together is called the cloaca. Oh, the yeah. Dead. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah. like it's like. It's just dried up more than yeah. yeah, like if you put but, water on it, is it? Nah. <laughs> no? I, mean, I mean, the water will just, just water might just. get fungus to grow on it, you know, but yeah, <laughs> it's fine. So, um, and then the other thing, I mean, I might just point out that's different is although I'm calling this an oviduct, it's really not. It's in, in, in pigs and most other mammals that have multiple, um, you know, births, right? How many, how many piglets do you usually have? Eight. At least eight, right? Six, eight, yeah, ten, say twelve, six. fourteen, mm -hmm. even you know, um, those multiple fetuses develop on each side of what we call the horns of the vagina. Mm. In humans, you would never have fetal. Well, we'll talk about it, but that that um, in in what's the oviduct, you wouldn't want to have the fetus developing there. But in these horns of the uterus, that's the normal place for all of those fetuses to develop. Because they have multiple babies. Yeah, and so you'd have like, yeah, you know, that's a, a bunch of little balls along there where all each fetus is growing, you know, maybe three or four on this side wow. or five or six and then three or four or five or six on the other side. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right.